we are about to enter. Now, it stopped because we got to go on part two of part two. It's all good. We own it. Thank you for rejoining. Now we are talking about sacred geometry. Sacred geometry now. And we're going to understand that no matter what, the mother God is connected to all of it. Even in sacred geometry, they talk about the straight lines are the male. The curved lines are the female, which forms... Which forms into the sacred geometry that is us. See, God is the mother. See, God is the father. See, God is the Holy Spirit. But you cannot go to church. You cannot have these people lie to you and give you half of your truth. And you not knowing that the mother God is connected to us all. As above, so below, as within, as without. You can't do it. I'm sorry. You just can't. You just can't do it. You just can't do it. And I'm just fast forwarding. Just talking right now. I want y'all to gather y'all thoughts right now. Because sometimes it's not all about me talking right now. It's time for you to gather your thoughts right now and understand. Understand this. I'm just showing you this. This is sacred geometry right here. Male and female. Fuck what other genders you talking about. It is divine masculine and it is divine female. Fuck the bullshit they talking about. You see it. It's time for y'all stop believing these half-assed shit that the preachers and pastors are teaching you. Now look at this. The left eye of Horus. These people back in the day, they had to get initiated before they knew to work. 12 years of the left eye, then 12 years of the right eye. You had to know the balance of the male and the female. Mmm, the unity. <sighs> the left eye of Horus, and I'm going to finish off with this. The left eye horse was a 12-year emotional body training for aspiring Egyptian initiates. It dealt with various emotions, feelings, fears, and both positive and negative aspects of the chakra. All the temples of Egypt were built for the left eye of Horus training. In this course, initiates work with many different aspects of human nature. There is a specific fear related to each of the chakras, and each of the 12 major temples dealt with the fear related to a specific chakra. The temple at Kom, that's spelled K-O-M-O-M-B-O, -O -O, worked with fears associated with the sacred chakra. In this temple, there is a huge hole in the ground. Even modern Egyptian guys tell Taurus it was a part of a training process. An initiate had to go into this hole, which was filled with water. Huge stones were placed inside, so they had to be careful not to hit them. The training included getting to the bottom, passing through, small opening, and then coming out of the other side. Probably as I'm speaking to you, your spirit is, your spirit is already going through this training already. It doesn't seem too so difficult, but this is not the full story of what initiates were doing here. Egyptologists known from ancient writings only that there was water in the hole and that it was part of the training, but they really do not know the partial, the particulars. Excuse me. But Thoth, for explanation as to the real initiation, explanation to the real initiation, and Thoth gave him the following count. Thoth said the temple complex was situated such that the initiates began on a much higher level. The students gave uh, uh, gave him the following count. The complex was so, situa was so situated such that the initiated began on a much higher level. The students could see only three steps leading to the water at the beginning. And then a, vi a very high wall on the other side. Is it done? I'm just going to show you that. And we're going to continue. Peace and love, family. I can't give you everything. Re 